Doge rejected a key resistance level. And if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pingu Charts here. Welcome back to another Doge analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's see if we can get five likes on this video. As you guys can see on Doge yesterday, we were testing the 0.08 level as a crucial resistance point. And I mentioned that's going to be very important for the bulls to try to break above this level and then see whether or not we can use this as support and then the continuation. You can see that the bulls did have a nice fake out opportunity. We did have a strong bullish candle being formed and immediately after we saw a dump and the bears came in with the with the volume and again continued pushing the price lower than the exponential moving averages as you guys know from my previous analysis i mentioned the fact that as long as we are above these exponential moving averages and we continue using them as support we can be looking for some short-term price action to the upside right now we did get that bearish confirmation of course you can see that we broke that exponential moving average retested it as resistance and are currently trading below it ideally this range is very difficult to try to predict and this is why i always recommend we never trade these consolidation ranges ideally what we're looking for is a break above with a strong bullish candle find it as support and that continuation to possibly hitting that 11 cent bar target or from the bearish case scenario if we do see a clean break to the downside then we would like to see this as resistance and that confirmation anything in between right now you can see that volume is definitely dying so there is going to be an explosive move coming within hopefully one or two days we can kind of have an idea of exactly where doge is going to go but pretty much from this video all you guys really need to take is the fact that on the four hour time frames as long as we trade below these exponential moving averages we are short term bearish and of course we would like to see from a bullish perspective a trade above the 0.08 anything below that is pretty much a bearish confirmation you can see that those tried to take control of those levels multiple times even here find it as support fail 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 and another fail and this shows that there's definitely more bearish pr pressure than there is bullish right what we would like to see from the bullish or sorry the bearish perspective of course is a clean break to the downside and i would like to see that volume come in like we saw over here you can see that we actually broke below that support level retested it as resistance and then got that confirmation but we were obviously in a very extreme oversold condition because of the fact that we dropped from all the way up here from 11 cents i mentioned that to you guys on the previous analysis as well the fact that if the 11 cent is broken doge will be heading into extreme capitulation mode and you can see that pretty much we saw this beautiful bar formation play perfectly and now we are consolidating obviously when you are consolidating on these levels after a major dump you tend to have another major dump right a lot of people are becoming bullish at these levels and saying the bottom is in but in my opinion we are not even close to the bottom and ideally i would like to look for some long positions around here at 0.06 looking at the hourly time frames you can see that we are pretty much hugging that exponential moving average extremely closely and the volume is dying we were in this bar formation on the hourly as well and it looks like it is being completed so we could possibly be looking to retest around that 0.08 and of course as you guys if you guys are paying attention then th that would also be that fourth test right you can see that on the hourly time frames we tested level once twice three times and now this would become the fourth test which usually indicates a bearish move breaking below that support level that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful day